Here's another example of Marvin that involves me. Okay, he got, you know, I, I got to MIT and I can explain that. Marvin did that also. But when I was tired of MIT, uh, one day I went to Marvin and said, Marvin, I'm just tired of this. Uh, I want to switch fields because I'm really interest, more interested in physics and I'd like to get a, uh, do something in physics. He says, well, why don't you go talk to my neighbor? I said, your neighbor? Yes, he says, the guy who lives next door. So Marvin's suggestions were usually good. So I went to talk to his neighbor, and he's a young guy, and he's still Mar the neighbor to the Minsky's house. He's a young guy named Larry, Larry, I think his last name is Larry something. Okay. So I go see him and, and say, you know, he says, what do you want? And I said, well, what I'd like is I'd like to be a professor of physics. <laughs> and I'm thinking he'll tell me what I have to do to become a professor of physics. And here's what he says. He says, well, get me three letters of recommendation and a couple of weeks after I get them, you'll be a professor of physics here. So I got the three letters of recommendation. They were from, one from John, one from Marvin, <laughs> and so on. And uh, he made me a professor of physics. And this resulted in a very funny thing. I've, I've led this charmed life. When I came to MIT, you know, that was a very bizarre happening when I got, came to MIT because, you know, I didn't have any kind of degree or anything, but I, I, Marvin had scurried around and got me an appointment as a visiting professor. Anybody could be a visiting professor, in fact, you know. So, but it doesn't mean anything. So, uh, I got an office, and they said, you have to share this office with someone else, but space is tight. So, who do I get? I get a guy who's a physicist from England. He won a Nobel Prize. And any question I had in physics, he was uh, fantastic at. He would just answer it. Now, you know, after all, he won a Nobel Prize in physics, okay. Yeah, I said, what are you doing at MIT? Why are you a visitor at MIT? He says, oh, I heard you had this problem, so I came out here to solve it for you. And I said, oh, great, what's that problem? He says, it's called the artificial intelligence problem. And I said, no. Okay, and it was obvious to me he didn't know anything about computing. So I said, you're going to solve this problem? He said, sure, I've solved much harder problems. Uh, so in any case, uh, I taught him to program in Lisp. But he would do one wonderful thing. Any question I had in physics, he knew the answer. So when I left MIT and went off to BU, uh, Ed Marvin said, you know, uh, uh, call this guy. And when I went there, you know, the guy, I, I thought, is this guy going to laugh me out or what's he going to do? He said, get me three letters of recommendation. He'll be a professor. So I did. So I'm now a professor. And he says, but you got to share an office. I thought, oh, Jesus. So I get an office, and it's a little Dutch guy. And the Dutch guy is acting sort of weird. He says, what are you doing? What do you do? I said, oh, I work on, you know, uh, uh, cellular automata, models of physics, you know. He says, you don't know what you're talking about. You're an idiot. He says, I'm an idiot? And I thought, this is, what, what is he talking So. So he keeps telling me I'm an idiot, that I don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm trying to understand why is he saying that, you know? Finally, he explains. You said, because I asked you, what are you working on? And you said you're working on a, on cellular, on a cellular automata model of physics. And he said, so, that just proves you're an idiot. I say, what are you talking about? 
Here's what he was talking about. I should have said, I'm working on a cellular automaton model because that's the singular. Automata is plural if you speak Latin. Okay. Now, in America, no one I know has ever said cellular automaton, which is correct, actually, for the Latin. So the reason he was calling me an idiot was that I had said that I used the plural when I meant the singular. And he's Dutch. He also became a friend of mine.